Paul, why don't you tell everyone how uh, you and the Road Warriors came to be as an entity? Well, it was the summer of 83, and uh, Ole Anderson was the booker, and Ole uh, knew Eddie Sharkey, and Eddie Sharkey was training some guys just to uh, see if they'd be interested in wrestling. So Ole uh, went up to Minneapolis, went to Grandma B's, and as he's walking in the door, animals got somebody by the belt and the back of the shirt, and he just throws him over the fence. <laughs> and Ole, Ole's standing there watching the whole thing, and, and uh, he goes in and, and he sits down, and he talks to the boys, and, and the next thing you know, he, uh, they're flying in Saturday for TV at TBS. Oh my God! Yeah, and I. Ole, uh, they take a cab to uh, TBS, and then Ole says, uh, well, here's a couple Minnesota boys, Paul. You take care of them, and don't let them get in any trouble. <laughs> and uh, so I loaded them up in my black van, okay. took them to the airport, and we flew to Columbus, Ohio. But I, I, I sort of tested them just a little bit, because I didn't know them at all at that point. And uh, I, I, I took the black man, and if you know that the Atlanta airport, the uh, remote parking okay. is way back. Okay. So I park as far away as I can with the black man. And it's about 100 degrees off. And they, they, they do, you know, you didn't have wheels on bags like they do now. They had these big suitcases. That they were carrying everything. And the sweat's just pouring down their face. And they're cussing and swearing. Oh, they were selling it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got them. Oh, yeah. But it was good. At what point did you realize that, you know, you guys had something? Because, you know, like you said, at first you were testing them, but you guys got over real quick. Yeah. But was there a moment where you're like, wow, this is, this is really well, good? It, it wasn't too long because... Uh, you know, you're always evaluating talent. And, and I saw they had the it factor. I always call it the it factor. Mm -hmm. They had the look, they had the interview, and they had the intangible. And the intangible is charisma. And to, to go to the top, you have to have all three. And they had all three. They were great on the mic. They had the look. And the effect. And yeah. the effect. Yeah, and then the, the missing piece because back then it's it's both of them became so like so amazing on the mic and had their own personalities. Oh, yeah. But but you were there to get their point across yeah. for those first three, four, five years. Yeah. To where you know, then eventually they 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 could oh, handle yeah. stuff so you kinda of wrap it up with the ball. You yeah. know, you yeah, you would come on and just If there was time left that's what I, I mean. I would yeah. say so. but, but if there was it, no time left. That, that, but yeah, you, you at that point, yeah. Because it was all good. So but it, it, it's so thing. so important that uh, you knowing what to say and how to say it is what actually helped them draw money and become big stars in those formative years because yep. they were the look and they got in there, but you know, uh, they, they weren't as fine tuned as they would be. Well, the deal is, is you gotta sell tickets. All right? Well, you and did have to sell tickets. That's yeah. the deal. <laughs> yep. So I would always try to say something that would summarize everything and sell some tickets. When you left Oli, you guys went to to work for Vern, right? What, what was it like that you guys went well, up to? Uh, we did work for Vern. We gave him first shot at you know at his schedule. Mm -hmm. But because the AWA, you always had a few days off. That's the one thing that was nice about that territory is you got time off. Sure. So on on time off days, I would book a solo. You know why not? And yeah. that's why I was a shooting man. <laughs> and that's what it was. So we, we just gave Vern. Uh, first shot for uh, his towns, but everything after that, we booked ourselves. Check that a great photo. Yep, and I, I actually love that look of, the, of you guys. You know, with the black spikes. Yeah. Uh, you know, the the red is classic too. You the know, black and, and that was all animal. He was uh, he was he was the engine on the train. Really? Know? Oh yeah. He uh, he was always uh, thinking of different ways to. Uh, 
you know, keep evolving. Sure. And uh, keep keep it fresh, keep it new. And you guys did a great job of that. Yeah. It, it, it's so many different incar incarnations. Yeah. Yep. Well, memories of the Great American Bash Stadium Tour. Yeah. It was unbelievable summer. They, they would have a, a rock group or a country western uh, after, and it was just unbelievable. Uh, the crowds we drew, uh, baseball stadiums, football stadiums, so, sellouts everywhere. Probably uh, the greatest, up to that point, the greatest summer that wrestling had ever saw. Oh yeah, it was yeah. huge, and like you said, the bash, Waylon yep. Jennings was a part yeah. of that, right? Yeah. yeah. And what was it like now to go back in Minnesota? You said you had the, the, the feud with Jesse, but you know, it, it wasn't all the way up the card. Right. Now when you guys came back, you were yep. at the top of the card. Yeah, we were top of the card. Well, it, it was good. You know, it was home for us. And then uh, I, I had an in because uh, Vern, Ganya uh, broke me in, into the business. Mm -hmm. So I knew Vern from day one. And uh, so I, I always played the middle man. Any memories of uh, you guys had a good run in Memphis where you weren't, you just came in for the headline match? Yeah, yeah. That, that's what we were doing. We yeah. Were, we'd hot shot. <laughs> hey, well, you, you could do that at that time, right? Now, you got, it was you guys and Andre, pretty much the only people that could do right. that, right? Yeah. yeah. What are your memories of uh, going into the Hall of Fame that year? Well, it, it was a, you know, it's a culmination of an effort. Sure, yeah. And an acknowledgement of uh, the effort. And so it's nice in that respect. Yep. Wow. And we were inducted by the WWE and the Pro Wrestling Hall in the same year. 